Like it's so like, oh, just decadent. An all rounder, I love grass, I love rabbits, it's perfect. Lick it and eat it, it tastes really nice. Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle is pitch black, and that's why I look illuminated. But it is Valentine's Day launch at Lush. Love is in the air. Um, and today I'm going to take you through the entire Valentine's Day range and the Lunar New Year range. I know the Lunar New Year range has already kind of been out for a couple of days, but I wanted to go through that as well because oh my god, some of the stuff is so wonderful. So what I thought I would do is I would start off with the Lunar New Year, it's only small but it's beautiful, and then work on over to the Valentine's Day collection. There is also going to be a massage bar collection. It's either going to launch today or sometime this month. I'm not too sure off the top of my head, but I'm going to do a separate video for that. But if you love massage bars, if you love some of the smells from Lush, and thought, oh, I want it in different, in a different format. You got there's so many more to choose from, and there's an absolutely spoiler alert, stunning gift that I've just seen in the training notes that I'm so excited to go through. But I'm going to go through that in a separate video because I know not everybody wants to know about massage, but the massage range, oh my god, there's some absolute gems in there. Anyway, let's jump in to Lunar New Year. So the first thing that is coming back, it's come back a couple years now, um, and it's a one that people ask for all the time. It is Godiva Shampoo Bar. It's a shampoo and conditioner bar. So it's yellow with little chunks of butters in there. So whilst it's washing your hair, it's also gonna moisturize. So it's great for people who are, maybe it's great for the gym, but it's, it's great for people who kind of want a two-in-one kind of a situation. But what I've noticed is when I'm looking at the ingredients in front of me, I've got notes in front of me on my phone and also um, on this piece of paper in front of me, um, th is that they've changed the formula of the shampoo bot. So instead of having a SLS lather, you have a sodium cocoa sulfate. So it's a lot more gentler on the hair. And I know that I think, well, I think, should I say, that they are working on changing all of the shampoo bars to that formula. So it's great for people with sensitivities to SLS and also for people who want a gentler bubble to wash their hair with. But inside your Godiva shampoo bar, you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, you've got hibiscus flowers extracted in organic extra virgin olive oil, you have got a fair trade shea butter, you've got jasmine absolute, palma rosa oil, ylang ylang oil, camellia oil, gardenia extract, extra virgin coconut oil, organic jojoba oil, organic macadamia nut oil, a uh, cup of wax you butter and dried jasmine flour. So obviously if you do have a nut allergy this may not be the one for you but it is very moisturising. Godiva shares its scent with Lust, which is a beautiful red perfume that Lush smell, Lush smell, Lush sells. Um, the shampoo is nine pounds, so it's the same price as all the other shampoo bars. And you should get, if you have about, I would say like my length hair, kind of like shoulder length hair, you should get about 60 to 80 uses out of. If you've got shorter hair, like like a, like a, like a cropped hair, you can like look towards about 80 to 100 uses. I wash my hair like kind of every other day and I get about three to four months out of a shampoo bar. They are so long lasting, as well as obviously being very good for the environment because there's no plastic packaging. I've just, yeah, I don't have any lipstick on my chin. <laughs> Um, and as well as that, they're great for travelling with, whether that's to festivals, uh, on holiday, like I say, to the gym. You're not carrying all that bulk and you're not having all that 100 mil palaver at the airport. It's lovely. And again, you're going to have that beautiful floral smell in your hair. And whilst it is a Lunar New Year um, release, this is beautiful for Valentine's Day. Jasmine is so sensual. It is an aphrodisiac. And that's going to be making, you know, if you're having a little snuggle, smelling that jasmine in the hair, it's going to be quite beautiful. Then we've got something really exciting. We have got a new bath bomb and this is Golden Rabbit Bath Bomb. And I've got this here. I will be buying a quadrillion, not to be uh, dramatic. Um, I'm going to put the price on the screen here because I can't remember the price. Um, but this is it and it is stunning. It's got beautiful flowers embossed in it. It's got this gorgeous gold luster on it. It's red and gold. Oh, and it smells like grass. It smells so fresh and sweet and summery, even though we are in the kind of 
uh, so winter months. It's very uplifting and it's absolutely stunning. It's been very popular over the last couple of days that it's been in. It just smells and looks wonderful. I love rabbits. I love bunny rabbits. So this is just an all-rounder. I love grass. I love rabbits. It's perfect. So in here, you've obviously got your sodium bicarb, citric acid, sandalwood oil, bergamot oil, neroli oil, titanium dioxide, water, talc, and then you've got your synthetic flower, flower, flower guide, which is like obviously your synthetic mica, which makes it all gorgeous and sparkly. It's biodegradable. It's absolutely stunning. And a, and a little kind of, if you didn't know, I've, I've kind of touched on it with some people in the comments in my last video is that Lush has listened and they're gonna be bringing back grass shower gel. They're gonna be bringing back uh, Karma uh, body lotion. And I think one other, uh, and King of Skin, I think um, body butter um, at the end of the month. So if you are a fan of Karma cream, which I know a lot of people are, it is coming back. And it makes sense to have something grass scented when that grass shower gel is coming back. But it's absolutely, I'm just so excited to use it and I can't, can't wait, I love rabbits. I've got a, a matte liquid lipstick on, sorry, just a second, no. I've got a matte liquid lipstick on and I've put a lip gloss on and I, can, I feel like I can feel it breaking down. So apologies if it starts to look a bit crummy at the end of the, the video. Speaking of Godiva shampoo bar, with it being lust scented, there's a really cute gift set this year. It's called Hoppy New Year. And this has a piece of the Karma soap in, but a 100 gram bottle of Flying Fox shower gel. I know a lot of people miss Flying Fox. So Flying Fox shower gel is the same smell as Lust and Godiva. It is beautiful. And I used to use that as a shampoo as well as a body wash. And my God, does it linger in the hair for so long and it smells so good. Like it's so like, oh, just decadent. So it's a really cute gift set. It's got really, it's pink with loads of cute characters on. And it's actually designed by a Hong Kong based illustrator called Curry Chung uh, in collaboration with Lush and the ESEA staff, which I think is really cool. And they've also designed a beautiful knot wrap as well called Lucky Bunny. And everything about this knot wrap is me. I think it's gonna be about five pounds this knot wrap. Again, I'll put the prices up here for both the gift and the knot wrap. It is so fun and so colorful. Um, me and my friends at work were picking who we were on the knot wrap. I am the little purple bunny because it looks like it's doing like a little pump. Uh, I love a little pump. Um, and then some of my friends were picking out them too on the knot wrap. It's just so sweet. It is a smaller knot wrap out of the, the ones that, that have normally come out in previous years, but it's cute and it's made from recycled plastic bottles. It is so, so cute. This year, the I love the Lunar New Year. It's really lush. I just love it. It's so, so cute. But yes, that is all of the Lunar New Year collection. Okay, so we're gonna move on to Valentine's Day. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a lot of the Valentine's Day collection with me um, because I already have some of it in my collection from last year because there are some repeats. Um, so I only picked the things that I was really, really interested in and that I really, really wanted. That's not to say that I don't like these products. I absolutely love everything that's out this year. I just want some new stuff, essentially. So, what I got, we've got something fun for the people who missed this out in, uh, it would have been this summer's uh, kitchen box. So, Strawberry Crumble is here for everyone to enjoy. It is beautiful. It's, so, it's not, it is a lovely kind of fresh, fruity strawberry smell. Um, it is creamy and sweet. You can really smell like, almost like a little bit of a coconutty sort of, nod in there as well but it's really fruity and I love this when this came out in the kitchen box and I would have loved to have had another one and now I can't and look I did my makeup to look just like the strawberry crumble um so this is a moisturizing bubble bar and um, it's class as a bubble room so you've got in here um sodium bicarb, cream of tartar, you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, cornstarch, Sicilian lemon oil, tonka absolute, fresh strawberries, fair trade shea butter and soybean flour. It's absolutely da 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 absolutely divine. Um, this would be one very luxurious bath or two normal baths. It's oh just absolutely gorgeous. It's I would say if anyone says is this like D fluff or yummy mummy, no it's its own smell. I don't think it is the same as ours as well. They liken it to a very fruity berry, like a red berry smoothie. And I absolutely get that, you know, like when you get like a nice innocent smoothie. It's really, like I say, juicy and fruity and yummy. And it's divine. It's £6.50. And then we have got 
something really exciting. This is new. This is Floating Love Island Bath Melt. And when I seen that there was a bath melt coming out, I was quite intrigued to see how big it was because I was like, I hope it's not going to be too small. And as you can see, it's quite a fair size. Is this the same size if anybody's in store today or over the next couple of days can let me know is this the same size as what phoenix rising would be it smells wonderful i'm trying to think is it too more hot oh it's keeping fluffy scented mm, it smells lovely it's so decadent and floral i knew it smelled kind of familiar it's two more hearts bubble rune it was that red love heart with uh cocoa butter in the middle and it was had like a gold luster on it is that the same smell as that is um but it's it's beautiful it is absolutely lovely so in here you have got citric acid fair trade uh organic cocoa butter almond oil rose absolute jasmine absolute lemongrass absolute ylang ylang vanilla absolute water agar agar titanium dioxide and talc uh, with some synthetic flora 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 guide so i'd wonder if this is going to fizz and melt at the same time i'm really intrigued to use this i've been as soon as i've seen it i thought it's so pretty it's got a little it, like love heart on it and the shimmer is like an iridescent pink like a it's just lovely um and it like i say it's a fair size it's just lovely and i think you can have a proper me time with it it's it's got quite a strong smell so you know if you wanted to pair it up with the bubble bar you absolutely could or if you wanted it on your own it is absolutely gorgeous and it's like i say it's keep it fluffy scented and it's a nice big size i'm really excited to try this popping it down here Oh, and it is five pounds. Next, we have a returner, which is Love Bug uh, Bath Bomb. I've had this in previous years. I didn't pick it up this year because I wanted to try some of the new stuff. But as you can see, it is pink, yellow, and blue. And it's a cute little herby style car. Uh, it smells like um, sherbet dip. It is the same smell as Love Boat from previous Valentine's Day. And it creates the most wonderful rainbow patterns. It's foamy, it's great. I think I've got some videos on my Instagram from last year's love bug as well so if you want to check that out I would definitely go have a little whiz through my we my wheels my reels to see um what is there but it's really lovely and fruity and sweet shop it's very nostalgia in the smell of like childhood memories it's great fun and it's great for kids if you're wanting something fun and different to give to the kids and that's really colorful um, I absolutely love it and I, I'm going to put the price here because I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. I think it's £5. It might be £6 now. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun, colourful one but I really want to do try the Golden Bunny instead. Okay, so that is all of the bath range um, for this year. And in true Panto style because it's winter, oh no it's not. I completely forgot about the Valentine's bombshell bath bomb. So this is quite a large bath bomb. It comes in two halves wrapped in uh, straw that we've seen in kind of previous years of this concoction. And it has flower petals inside of it. It's totally bougie. Inside of here, you have uh, sodium bicarb, citric acid, soybean flour, titanium dioxide, Pakistani rose absolute, rose oil, geranium oil, Sicilian lemon oil, cream of tartar, water talc. You have your synthetic flora 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 guide, as well as your dry flowers. You've got dried pink delphinium petals, dried blue mallow flowers, dried blue larkspur, uh, dried sunflower petals, corn flowers, and rosebuds, as well as marigold petals. This shares its scent with rose jam. So if you are a big rose jam fan, or if you're buying for someone who is a rose jam fan, this is the one for them. It is £12. It's like I say, it's a big bath bomb. You can have it over two bath bombs. But the whole point is it is supposed to be this beautiful unfurling bath where it's, it's kind of like a bouquet of rose petals and flowers in the bath whilst you're soaking. Very luxurious, very pampering. It's really pretty. And I'm so sorry to Valentine's Bombshell for forgetting about you. But yes, back to the video. So you've it's, it seems smaller than previous years. I don't know if that's just me. I'm not too sure. Okay, so we've got something really cool this year when it comes to the shower, um, the shower kind of range. So in the UK, 
they have brought out a, well, for all of Valentine's Day, it's Love Shower Gel. So Love Shower Gel is red. It smells like Fizz Banger, a bath bomb from years gone past, or um, kind of like spicy apples. It's really lovely. It's warm. It's just a lovely, lovely smell. Um, but as I was trying to say before, before I tongue-tied myself, um, there's some differences between the UK and the rest of the world and I, I feel like this might be a little bit controversial um, for some people, whether that is if you're in a different country to the UK or whether you're in the UK. So for the UK, we have got the shower spheres and I'm going to show you these in a second and for everywhere else in the world, it's going to be a bottled version. So the shower spheres come in this plastic free packet. It kind of reminds me of like the candy kitten sweets that we get over in the UK. And it is 250 grams in weight. So it's exactly the same price as um, a bottle of the 250 gram shower gel, except they are in single use pods. So you may remember these from years gone past called Atmos I don't know why I said that in a weird way, atmospheres. And it came in a pack of four in a little cardboard box. It was love, money, joy, and I think happiness. They were blue, yellow, red, and green. So this is what they look like. And it kind of gives me like, do you remember those 90s bath oils? Um, it looks a bit like that and it's really squidgy. And eventually, obviously, when you go to use it, you'll pop it into your hand. Um, it smells so good. It's so spicy and just yummy and just a little bit apple and a little bit floral and just divine it's it's really cool so obviously you've got this like seaweed and capsule here and what you do is each one weighs 10 grams you get 25 in a packet so you get the full amount of a bottle of shower gel but not in a plastic bottle and you like i say you would pop it into your hand and you would wash it over and one sphere is one like shower essentially or one usage now you might be thinking but what about the casing when i've had these before um in the fresh and flowers box we got a shampoo one um i pop this um into a little plastic pot and i got like two goes out of it and then i actually used the casing on another go so i quite fancy and i don't know how you guys feel about this but popping every single one of these. I've got, I've just finished my last year's um, shower gel, I Can Resist Everything But Temptation, which was like a red apple flavor shower gel. I quite fancy popping every single one and filling up a 250 gram shower gel bottle and seeing how much we actually get out of this bag. Let me know if you think I should do this because I, I quite fancy doing it. Um, but it's 15 pounds for the packet of the of spheres now obviously um if you do have like kind of mobility issues with grips of your hands there's absolutely and i know some people might say well i shouldn't have to do this um there's nothing stopping you from popping these and putting them into a bottle um and you know you can then like keep the skins and put them in a shower puff and use them up but i think they're really trying to showcase innovation here starting off with the uk to see what people's takes are of them uh, and like i say it, it comes the, the packet itself i don't know if you can hear it seals up and nothing is coming out of it like that so unlike um if you remember like the shouders they're not in a cardboard box, so it's not kind of going to go hard on the bottom or anything like that. So inside these spheres, you've got water, glycerin, you've got um, fine sea salt, ylang ylang, lemongrass oil, bergamot oil, jasmine absolute, rose absolute, ylang ylang absolute, lactic acid, sodium alginate, and oak moss extract. So your lactic acid is going to really brighten the skin. It's going to help gently exfoliate away dead skin cells um, without a physical scrub things like your ylang ylang and jasmine really heady and your lemongrass is going to really lift it up it's a really fun concept i do wish personally that we had the option in the uk to try both um both the bottle and the the spheres but i can see them maybe trying to give people an idea of trying something new i'm going to just jump to a gift because there is a gift set this year called love which i'm going to put here it kind of is very like 90s vogue kind of a look it, it's very 
old school of it and you get a bottle of the perfume but you get a hundred gram bottle of the shower gel so if you're thinking to yourself I love the smell of this but I don't want to use the spheres you could get the gift and have the shower gel there I'll put the price up for the gift over here as well so I'd love to hear what you think about the spheres do you like the idea of them do you like the idea of the pouch and these individual uses and things like that or do you prefer to have the liquid bottle? So what they've said is, once upon a time, shower gel fans had no choice but to contend with plastic packaging. Those days are over thanks to spherification. In the world of cutting edge cuisine, spherification is the practice of encapsulating a liquid within a seaweed derived coating. These edible spheres burst in the mouth for an innovative dining experience and have since inspired product inventor Gary to develop these packaging free liquid products. Calcium lactate glucinate reacts with sodium alginate to form a natural capsule naturally coating the liquid in a gel like casing this is science so really are I, I do really think that lush is at the cutting edge of bathing technology we've had the delights which i'm going to talk about in a second in our fresh and flowers boxes we've had them at the christmas what do people think about the delights I really like them, I love the texture of them, um, they're really fun and it's something different to use in the um, shower. It smells so nice, I can just smell this here. So yes, I'm going to move on over to the Delight. So there are two Delights this year to choose from. We've got Passion Fruit which was in Valentine's Day box this year, well last year just gone. I keep thinking that it's 2022. Um, which is a beautiful, literally passion fruit scented body wash it is divine and if you watch that I'll, I'll put the valentine's day fresh and flowers um down below and also at the end for you to watch because my reaction tells you everything you need to know it is stunning and i would love this in a body lotion or a scrub even a bath bomb uh, or a shampoo where it's like really enzymic and brightening something like that because the smell is so good oh my god a body spray that would be lovely but there's also a different uh, delight body wash um that's coming out as well keep it fluffy so it's the same smell as your love floating love island bath melt so there's two different choices for people so if you want to have something more fruity if you want to have something more floral or if you like both so there's three body washes coming out for valentine's day um it's 850 per 100 grams but just like the christmas ones it works out at about 340 per 40 grams i didn't have an, i haven't picked any up this this yet this yet i haven't picked any up yet because i've still got my snow fairy one which i'm using and obviously we got another delight uh was it a christmas or, the, or november so i've kind of been using those ups but what are they made from? Okay, so the Keep It Fluffy uh, Delight is made from granulated sugar, agar agar gel, invert sugar syrup, marshmallow root infusion, corn starch, aquafaba powder, Pakistani rose absolute, jasmine absolute, lemongrass oil, ylang ylang oil, vanilla absolute, xanthan gum, almond oil, cream of tartar, and water. That video of the Lush Fresh and Flowers Valentine's Day box also has a demo of the delights. If you want to see how cream they are and how they work, definitely go watch that and you'll see how it, how they lather up. What I would say is don't take the whole thing into the shower, rip a chunk off and use that in the bath of the shower and keep the rest wrapped up in its grease proof for another go or two or three or four depending on how many, how big of a piece that you get. The passion fruit is a granulated sugar, agar agar gel, invert sugar syrup, you've got aquafaba, fresh passion fruit juice, you've got cornstarch, butchu oil, litsy kebaba oil, sweet wild orange oil, xanthan gum, almond oil, cream of tartar. That butchu oil, I've talked about this before when it's things like peachy bath bomb, it really adds like a juicy fruity taste, well I don't eat it, but flavour, scent to everything. Um, so it's just absolutely gorgeous. So so a little bit of information about um, the delights and a little kind of you know what's inside that counts. So the Pakistani Rose Absolute, um, they work with Turkish rose suppliers to encourage local farmers to ditch pesticides and return back to traditional organic working practices, which I think is lovely. And then the passion fruit that's in passion fruit um, is 
really cleansing and reviving on the skin. Um, and then the Butchu Oil and the Litsy Kabeba um, also um, work together being like lovely and antiseptic, um, kind of aiding a cleansing function. So I think that's really lovely. Uh, so if you like a fruity smell, go with passion fruit. If you like a floral smell, go with keep it fluffy or even the love spheres. I keep calling them atmospheres. It's, it's ingrained in my head, but I love all the smells. I didn't realize how much I like keep it fluffy. It's divine. Something new, well, it's new but old um, for the lips. So last year we had hot lips. It was red. It tasted a bit like um, cherries. Uh, this year we've got a different version. It's gold. Um, if you don't know what hot lips is, it is a bit like, think like the cucumber iPads, how they're kind of so pack, like pretty much packaging free. It's Lush's version of tackling, tack, tackling industry waste. So the cucumber iPads and lip masks, or should I say, you know, like the under iPads and the lip masks that you see out and about. Um, I think I've got one here. No shade to the company, but the iPads here are in a foil packet. They are in a plastic tray and they are also wrapped in plastic. So that's three lots of plastic that you're going to chuck away plus the actual pads that you've got uh, underneath your eyes. And it's the same with lip masks. When I've got lip masks before, they come in a foil um, packet on a plastic tray and they normally have a plastic sheet over the top plus a lip mask. With hot lips, it's a lip mask and a scrub. It only comes in grease proof with its sticker. The grease proof can be recycled or popped in your compost bin. The sticker can be chucked away but the actual product itself when you're finished obviously it's a scrub you can lick it and eat it it tastes really nice but if you just want to use it as a lip mask you can then um, pop it in your compost bin and it breaks down it's the same with your um ipads um they compost fantastically i've talked about this before i had to, i always put mine in the in the compost bin outside but i remember when i first got them i put some in the compost bin and i went to i was getting my patio done i moved all my compost bin out the way and i was turning it over and i found these they were almost as big as this um, in my compost bin. I was like, what, what, what is that? And it was the iPads and they were expanding and breaking down. So it's good to know that they broke down. And then in that time from getting my patio done to moving my compost bin back, they'd all gone and it's all broken down. So I cannot fault Lush for their ways to reduce plastic packaging. So how do you use the lip mask? Obviously you can rest it over your lips, leave it to sit on there, cooling, soothing, pop it down. But what you can do is you can actually then just, take, I've got lipstick on so I can't do it, but you would either rip a little bit off and rub it into your lips. If, I'll put at the end as well, last year's Valentine's Day haul so you can see that and in action, but you pop it down and you just rub it over your lips and it's gonna very gently exfoliate. And you can either lick it off because it tastes nice or or you can wipe it away with a cloth and you can keep doing that over and over again you store this one in the fridge so it's like I say it's nice and cooling and soothing so the ingredients are glycerin water spinach infusion ooh, I like that bamboo stem extract carrageenan extract extra virgin coconut oil sunflower oil divana oil lime oil um, almond oil almond essential oil titanium dioxide so the bamboo stem is a very gentle scrub. It's in things like Happy Skin, a Smuggler Soul Facial Scrub from years gone past. It's a very fine scrub, so it's just gonna very gently exfoliate. So if you do um, like the lip scrubs, but you wanna try something different, you might really enjoy that. Um, it's great, and obviously glycerin, as as a humectant, it's gonna hold and retain moisture into the lips, and they are three pounds each. Okay, so I've briefly talked about the love gift set so we don't need to talk about that one again but we do have some lovely new gift sets for Valentine's Day. So in no particular order, we have the Power of Love gift set. So it's a slide draw, really colorful and fun, kind of 60s sort of a vibe. And this is your bathing gift set. So in here, you have the Love Bug Bath Bomb, you have the Strawberry Crumble Bubble Room, you have the Rainbow Bubble Bob, but it's a mini one, and an Avo Bath Bath Bomb, along with some stickers. I like how the stickers are making an appearance in the more kind of, I, I'm not going to say childish, but in more the child-friendly gift sets. Um, I like stickers and I'm 33, but obviously it's great for gifting to younger ones as well as um, adults as well. It's a really fruity and fresh and colourful set. It's absolutely love. And it says, there are a thousand songs with this name, but there's only one of you. 
I love that. Then we've got the Lots of Love gift set. So this is going to be like the showstopper gift set. Red with little multicoloured hearts all over it. In here you've got 100 grams of the uh, Love Shower Gel. You've got the Dream Cream Hand and Body Lotion. The True Romance Massage Bar, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. Float and Love Island Bath Melt. Titsy Totsy Bath Bomb. The Strawberry Crumble Bubble Rune. And a Mini Comforter. The True Romance Massage Bar, um, I don't know if that's coming out, to, I don't I know if these massage bars are launching today, um, but my God, I smelt that massage bar, and Michael, if you're watching, you can maybe leave a comment, this is one of the nicest smelling massage bars I have smelt in ages, I could not stop sniffing it, there's something, it's got to share its smell with something that has already been out, maybe just in the subscription boxes, or maybe a product gone by. I haven't looked at all the trade notes for it, but it is so pretty and floral and just fresh and lovely and just, it's gorgeous. It's not too powdery. It's, it feels young, but an older person could use it too. It is just a gorgeous massage bar. Really, really lovely. And it's a top to toe pamper. You've got something for you, something for them, maybe something for you to share together. It's just a lovely, lovely set. And that is £50. The other gift set, sorry, I forgot to mention, bad at my job, uh, is £26. If you want something cute, maybe like a little add-on present to something that you've already got, you've got Kiss from a Rose. That's my favourite seal song. Um, and this is all rose and floral based. So that lovely blue box with roses all over it. So you've got the rose jam bubble rune and you've got the black rose bath bomb. Um, really, really pretty. And that is £14. You should get about three baths out of that or two very luxurious baths if you're a bit bougie. And then you've also got the with love gift set. So this is again a little top to toe pamper. You've got a 100 gram bottle of the love shower gel, the dream cream hand and body lotion in 45 gram pot and the titsy topsy bath bomb so again floral you've got some relaxing smells some spicy smells it's just lovely and if you didn't know titsy topsy bath bomb is based on a love spell and um, it's just lush and i like the packaging it kind of looks yeah it's got little cherubs on it i thought they were care bears but that is 20 pounds last but not least we've got not wraps locked of papers and tins so Oh, I'm just looking at them all now. They are gorgeous. So we've got the Strawberry Patch Knot Wrap. This is, I'm going to assume a smaller one. It's £5 um, and it's made from organic cotton. This is really pretty. This would make nice scrunchies if, you, if you're kind of crafty. With a nice pattern on there. I really like the Love Struck Knot Wrap. Uh, this is £6 and this is made from recycled plastic bottles. It's got these gorgeous little cherubs all over it, which reminds me of the last gift set we were just talking about. And then we've got the Things We Love Knot Wrap and it says, designed by freelancer Sophie Ann Campbell. I think the meaning behind Valentine's Day can sometimes be forgotten. It's about appreciating the things you love in life. The simple mundane feelings you have towards the small, usually passive thoughts. It is a time to be positive and enthusiastic about feelings of love. In this design, I've included the things that make me smile in life. I think it is important to appreciate the little things that we love and be encouraged by moments of emotion, even if it's a cup of tea amongst friends. So this is made from a recycled plastic bottle and you've got lots of lovely little doodles on there. And I think that's a nice alternative. It's not too kind of like lovey-dovey. So if you wanted to give it to a friend or if you just wanted it as like a birthday, not wrap, something like that. I think that's really cute. And that is six pounds. Next we've got, oh my God, I love this tin. It's called, you have to kiss a few frogs. So you've got these big juicy lips on the front of the tin and lots of bouncing frogs all over it. It's eight pounds. And this is great if you want to be creative with your gifting. You want to be a bit more personalized. All those gifts that I've just talked about before are all wrap gifts. They're not hat boxes. With hat box gifts, you can kind of put extra things inside, but with wrap gifts, you can't open them up and put extras in. So things like knot wraps and tins mean that you can make something more personalized. You know, if they want a hair mask or if there's, you know, if they want to have sticky dates, shower gel instead you can kind of personalize that yourself but that's a really fun tin and again it's not too valentine'sy after the day and um, so that's really cute i love jumping straight into it these two locked up papers oh my god so you've got the love tokens locked up paper these are both two pounds um, and this one is called love tokens and you can actually cut it out and it has little um romantic gestures that you can give out to your partner that's so sweet i love that and then you also have the animal locket, which is really cute and fun. Oh, these are really nice. And again, these are great for wrapping individual items. So like maybe a bath bomb or a shower gel. These are really, really lovely. I like the patterns on these. 
Okay, and last but not least, something really exciting and different. Fresh and Flowers for Valentine's Day is coming to all stores around the world. That's right, you heard me. You can buy Fresh and Flowers in all stores. It used to just be the parish store, but the Valentine's Day box from last year, which you can go and have a look at the contents uh, put at the end, um, is available to buy in store and it'll be made up in front of you. So inside this set, you will get a chunk of the Passion Fruit Body Wash, the Passion Fruit Influage Massage Bar, the Be My Valentine Wash Card, and the Pillow Talk Spray, along with the Date Night uh, face mask and the Titsy Totsy pink bath bomb. So if you want to know more about what's inside of those products, what the ingredients are, how to use them, go check out that video. I'll leave it linked down below and at the end as well. But it's a beautiful pamper um, within this box and I love the pillow mist. I've got it here because they actually really kindly gave us all a box again for Christmas. Um, where have I put it? Oh, here it is. So you get this beautiful 10 mil pillow mist and I'm going to spritz it here. And it is a, a rosy floral smell. I know a lot of times people think, oh, it's a pillow mist, it's gotta be lavender. This is stunning, it's a really delicate florals, uh, floral rose smell, it's absolutely lovely. So if you are wanting a gift set that is with difference, because it does come with a little posy of flowers, this is beautiful. And obviously it's gonna be 35 pounds for this set. Um, see, again, you've got a top to toe pamper, you've got that central massage, you've got a body wash, you've got a face mask, you've got a fragrance. There's nothing stopping you. This is, this is a nice fragrance. I know it's a pillow mist, but I absolutely would wear that as a perfume as well. It smells so good. It's a really pretty one. And I'm so glad that it's gonna be released around the world. So you guys over in NA, you guys can try it. And I think even Australia, I don't think you have fresh and flowers yet. So it's nice that you can experience this, what we had last year. And I think it's nice that it's coming out for everybody to try. And this was one of my favorite fresh and flowers box um, from last year because of the passion fruit smell. It is so damn good. Give it to me in more things. But yes, that is all of the Valentine's Day collection and the Lunar New Year collection. Like I say, I'm going to do a separate video on the massage bars. If you want me to do the atmospheres poured into a bottle, I will do that. But yes, let me know what you think of everything down below, what you think of this collection, what you're going to pick up, um, what are you excited to try. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm really, I just think this is a really lovely range uh, this year. So yes, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're on our way to 3,000 subscribers. I only need 12 more subscribers to hit my goal of 3,000. And we're actually going to do a giveaway at 3,000. So that means that um, I've got a bag of goodies down here that you can't see. Um, I'm actually going to give the winner an option of either more kind of lush stuff or more kind of some lush with some skincare and makeup. Because I know not everybody who watches this wants makeup. But you get that option. And it is opened worldwide. <laughs> I've, got I've lost my train of thought. So yes, if you want to subscribe, now is the time because you could win the competition. Um, but I'll do a separate video for that. Yes, I'm going to do my updated body care collection. Um, I need to do a updated bath cocktail collection and that is what I was going to say would you like me to do a best of fresh and flowers kitchen box and a best of uh, lush kitchen box of the year like kind of ranking uh, in order what my favorite was let me know but yes you can follow me on social media you can ring that notification bell L lush Sarah, me, I will be recommending videos at the end for you to watch, obviously that Valentine's Day one, if you want to get an idea of that Fresh and Flowers box. But thank you so much for watching. I've gone crazy. I need to go have some dinner. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.